I mean, uh, social equality of being with one another, enjoying the concert, and going back home without shooting and killing one another. Gangsta rap was a, a black eye on hip hop, although some of it had some serious conscious message. But on the whole, it became so commercialized that it was just, uh, you could put anything together, people gonna go by and not get a message from, not be enlightened by a music. The music is of the people and of the people's time to communicate to the people to show their oneness together in enlightenment, enjoyment, and inspiration to inspire one to want to do better. The inspiration was again, as I said, mentioned, uh, the breath of life, that it's a vibe, uh, a harmony, a uh, frequency to go with the smooth flow of music. But rap, hip hop, more than any other genre of music, it touches the world. And the world respond to it, rather it's the conscious rap, uh, the gangster rap, uh, the Little Wayne rap, the, what's the other young brother name? And he's making money, but he's not really saying a uh, soldier boy. Right. <laughs> you know, all, they, 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 they out there, they, they getting that commercialism, and the children love them. Good beats. They got a, a concept, but the message is not there. As I understand, when uh, Soldier Boy speaks about something, he speaks about ejaculating on a young lady. And I mean, where this come from? You know, and that's not anything of a socially redeemable value that can inspire someone to their particular greatness because each one of us have our own individuality and that individuality has its own genius to be innovated enough to leave their mark in the world. I know we're not taught that on a whole uh, basis, but each one of us can leave our mark in the world even if you just touch a friend with some enlightenment of empowerment to Show some love, excuse me, I'm spraying, but show some love, you know? And love is in hip hop and the hip hop culture. It's a beautiful expression and, and I love it and I love the fact that I was invited to be here and offer uh, my simple words of inspiration on the philosophy of uh, hip hop, which to me is the love of the wisdom that come out our mouth through the expression of hip hop and this culture. Thank you. So next up, Dr. Shaka Zulu. Would like to uh, say a couple words, man. Peace. 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 How you doing, family? All right. All right. I'm Dr. Shaka Zulu, Grand Chief, Grand Sheikh of the Zulu Kemetic Moors, Chapter Tribe of the Zulu Nation, the Universal Zulu Nation. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna have our bro big brother, Brother Shep, walking on down. Let's give him a clap on in. Glad you can make it, brother. All right. Again, family, my name is Dr. Shaka Zulu, also known as Lord Tafik. I'm uh, the war chief for the Universal Zulu Nation here in America, all throughout the world. And we represent True School Radio, the People Show. We also represent the Universal Zulu Nation family, which is, happens to be the first family of hip hop culture. When we mean the first family of hip hop, we're talking about the osmosis or the beginning, the genesis of what today now is known as hip hop. And I'm on the record for, first I gotta make a distinction between what actually is hip hop 
and what is the difference between hip hop and rap. Hip hop is a culture in which was started and founded by three of the great holy titans that came to the physical form of earth known as DJ Cool Herc, Grandmaster Flash, and the Amin Ra Africa Bambada, who birthed into the cosmos onto this earth center here, and they birthed this musical genre or holy hip hop phenomenon that we today we call hip hop. Hip hop has essence of elements, and I want to be brief with it, and I want to share some of the elements of what the Universal Zulu Nation teaches as far as the elements of what actually is hip hop and what is not. But the first element we would say that in the beginning, they say because back to this panel here, it says the, the explorations of the spiritual and philosophical roots of hip hop culture. So it will only be right if we get some reverends or some imams to open up in the beginning words of peace or hotep. So this is why I talk with you in the indigenous language of our ancient ancestors. But in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. And so that's why we say in Zulu Nation that the first MC had to be God. God, or the creator or creatress, had to be the first grandmaster of this hip hop. The second installation to this foundation would be the aspect or the pillar known as the drum. You hear the drum all throughout all of the so-called hip hop music that you hear today. However, it goes back further, all the way back into what is known as ancient Africa, goes all the way back into what we call Egypt and the original name of Egypt known as Kemet. And that drum dealing with the djembe, you will find, goes back even further to the internal drum. The internal drum First, dealing with the heartbeat, and which gives that sound, that rhythm, that tone. Lastly, or firstly, actually, then would be the eardrum, and in which you're hearing me right now. The third level, or third installation to the foundation of hip hop, we would say, is the art form known as graffiti. Do we have any taggers, any writers out in the house? All right, I'm gonna touch lightly on this. His brother make sure he wanted to make sure that I you know got into some of the more science aspects of what Zulu Kemetic Moses is. But uh, one of our great teachers, Noble Ju Ali, states profoundly that what your ancient forefathers were, today you are now. So when we see the realm of brothers tagging on the walls, putting up this thing that today we call graffiti, again, this is the ancient coming right back, and you're looking at the today's hip hop, modern day hieroglyphics, okay? Again, what your ancient forefathers were, you are today. The next installation would then be the dance. See, because a lot of people, they say dance, so with dance is not related to hip hop. It's very much related to hip hop. Dance is the communication between you, yourself, and the creator or creatress communicating with the ancestors when you hear these different rhythms and tones. When you hear these certain rhythms and tones, it is very hard for a person to stand still because the beat or percussion is moving and man is moving in this circular motion. Just as a person is able to inhale and exhale, as the brother was saying, and breathe, and at the same time breathing in revives, relives, or revives the whole livelihood of the whole person being. So is the beat. So is your heart in tune. So is your ear in tune. So is your mind in tune. This is the way that is happening here. A lot of people don't realize with your body. So when you hear these musics, you hear people dancing and moving and so forth and they're shaking. These are communications with the ancestors and they call it today B-boy and B-girl. They also disguise that, fast forwarding a little bit forward, Fast forwarding it to uh, the aspect of when the African slaves were taken over and brought over here to Brazil. And in Brazil, in some places of America, you will find the slaves 